What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO YouTube video. Today, I thought it'd be a fun idea to go over some of the parts of my LEGO collection that I'm not really happy with and try to make some changes to them if possible, though I'm not really sure if that will be a thing we'll be able to accomplish in this video, because I feel like one of the things that we see most in my LEGO collection are the parts of my displays that I'm happy with, which is definitely including the LEGO City display. This is probably one of my favorite displays I have in the LEGO collection. I especially like how it blends into the Harry Potter section. That's one of my most proud displays that I've done. I've put a lot of thought into to it, but there's also a handful of displays in my LEGO collection that I'm not really proud of and I don't show too much. Like everything on my TV stand kind of feels like it's thrown in there. I don't really like the office set where it is. And another kind of display I'm not happy with is this kind of nightstand I have over here. It's got some cool sets and some layouts on it, but I'm not happy where they are. And then I also don't really like this nightstand where I have the Star Wars droids kind of in the middle of nowhere in my LEGO collection. And then another kind of nitpicky thing about my LEGO collection that I can't really change, but I wish I could is where my Ninjago City display is. It kind of feels like it's in the Star Wars section, which doesn't really make sense for it, so I wish I could move that, but I don't think I really can. But one thing that I'm going to attempt to move in this video are the Nintendo LEGO sets. I feel like these would just go a whole lot better on my TV stand, as that's where my Nintendo Amiibos are, and it's also where my Switch is. So first, I wanted to move my Switch up here to kind of see if that would free up some space and if I'd be happy with it. And then I really like how this is kind of like we have the Switch up here. Right below it, we have my Amiibo collection, and I think that looks cool, but I wasn't really Really happy with how my switch blocks some of my TV so I tried to move it onto the same shelf as my Xbox here and it doesn't look the best there I also tried to combine my controllers into this drawer but it just is a bit crowded however it does free up this entire shelf so that was pretty cool and over here we've kind of got some other changes I want to move around I want to move the office Lego set and I thought of putting the amiibos on top of my TV stand to kind of free up some more space but like those again kind of block the TV but like one thing I want to try is moving the Nintendo stuff over here to see if that looks any good and unfortunately it doesn't really because Bowser's not even able to fit on the shelf and it's just not as much space as I thought and I'd have to have him displayed off the stand and even when he's off the stand he still doesn't fit inside of that shelf too well so I think I'm probably going to scrap this idea another concept I was thinking of was having it like this the office Lego set and the amiibo stay the same however we have the more crowded display with the Xbox and the switch over here but it kind of looks a bit too much like too cramped but we do have two sitcom sets over here so like we've got a sitcom display by the TV which made a bit more sense and I like that but I think it just looks too crowded there's too much going on but it was able to free up this top shelf so like I could put the Animal Crossing sets here but here's the thing I'm trying to save money and not buy a ton of lego sets so like why make space for a set i don't really want to add to my collection so i decided to revert it back but like i was saying earlier another part of the lego collection i'm not really happy with is where my ninjago sets are i'm very proud of the actual display the display has come together really nicely i like the great wave in the background and i like the kind of dragonstone shrine on the end but it just kind of feels thrown in here it doesn't really sync up with everything else because like everything over here is like big and star wars and just like this is the star wars corner plus ninjago which kind of feels like it's thrown in there so I'm not really proud of this display too much, especially because we have the Star Wars minifigures below here. So like, I feel like this would be the perfect space to kind of like have those like UCS droid sets that I showed y'all earlier and maybe a few other sets, but just with the display space I have right now, it wouldn't really work out that way, unfortunately. So like not much we can do there. And then another part of the display that I'm not really happy with is this wall over here, more specifically because the Gotham City Skyline came out and I really wanted to make space for that, but we can't really do it with this current setup. I don't like, the Starry Night looks cool over here, but it just kind of feels like it's thrown in there a little bit, but I feel like I'm just being very nitpicky over here. I'm kind of just annoyed that I can't put the skyline over here, but a part of my LEGO collection that I'm actually not happy with that I feel like definitely is warranted. I like where my brick heads are right here, but they're just kind of hidden, but I feel like anything that you put on the bottom of a LEGO shelf is going to be hidden regardless of what it is, but this shelf above here is the one that really needs some work. It's got some dual sets and then some other Clone Wars sets. Everything just kind of feels thrown together, and there's not a lot of kind of like um it just like doesn't really pair well with the other sets on it and it doesn't really look like some of my other Star Wars shelves that I feel like really pair well together and sync up nicely so I kind of want to like make a few subtle changes to this in the future so we'll see what I can do with that and again another thing I was unhappy with was where the R2-D2 and BD-1 are I really would want to kind of move this entire little like nightstand area over with the rest of my Star Wars stuff I like how it kind of syncs up with the posters over here though like that part of this display looks good but it just is kind 
kind of random when you like consider the sets around it, like the medieval stuff, the Harry Potter and the Lego ideas. Having R2D2 around around those like works, but like I feel like it's really not the best display that I could have. I feel like the best one I could have, which is one I had before I got the UCS Razor Crest, was having it with the other UCS sets, but again, there's not really much space over here, so like I can't really fit it over here without it looking too crowded, but oh well. And it would be cool to have them on this set right here, especially if there's like kind of Star Wars art portraits in the background, but oh well, you can't really do much there, I guess. So I, I'll just complain to complain, I guess. But I was thinking something for the Ninjago City area that I could try and do is like move the Ninjago City sets up here. That could be cool with the uh, Lego Ar Avengers uh, City too. But I found out that the Ninjago City skyline is like 26 inches tall. So like super, super huge. Like literally, I feel like it won't be able to fit. And as we can see here, I measured it from the ceiling and it's literally like not even close. It is uh, definitely confined to that one spot just because of how big the Ninjago City Gardens are and I just really wish that it wasn't as tall. It looks really cool but it's just really hard to find the perfect display space for it so unfortunately that's kind of stuck right there but oh well I feel like I'm being very nitpicky in this video but like I feel like that's kind of the point of this to highlight some of the imperfections in my LEGO collection because I don't really show them too much. I just show what I'm really happy with in the LEGO collection but there are a uh, de definitely a lot of displays that I am happy with so let's kind of like move to a more positive note and these are kind of like my proudest moments of my LEGO collection and one of these has got to be the Lego Star Wars helmet shelf. I feel like this one just really fit together nicely. It's got all of the helmets and they look really cool. I also like how below it we've got the Moss Eisley Canteen. I feel like this just fits in perfectly in the space that I have here. I'm also really proud of my UCS display. I'm able to fit a lot of sets in a smaller space and I think they look really impressive all next to each other, especially when you look at the prequel sets like the gunship. We've got the invisible hand midi scale and especially that Benator. I'm just really proud of that display and then I really like how they sync up with the kind of art portraits here that we have as well. So I really liked how that came together. I also love the Star Wars display up here where we have the Rebel Fleet by Yavin 4 as kind of the centerpiece. And then you can also see we've got like Darth Vader's castle and as well as some like Imperial ships over here. So like I was really proud of this. Then we've got like some Mandalorian ships on the side here as well. And then something we saw earlier, I'm really happy with this Return of the Jedi shelf. I think this is the perfect shelf. I wouldn't really add much to it. And I again, I'm also really happy with the Lego City, especially the part that I'm proud of is like where it kind of like blends in at the end with the boutique hotel kind of blending into Diagon Alley where we have the Harry Potter house banners and then we also have Diagon Alley and Gringotts over here and then I especially love how the Gringotts caverns are right below Gringotts and they match up really well and then it kind of blends us into the Harry Potter display we've got Hocus Pocus over here and then the Halloween display I thought that just like really really was set up nicely it's probably one of the proudest parts of my Lego collection and I also really like the medieval area I feel like this area kind of looks really well on display play too. I love having the town square over here and I think that also blends in really nicely with the Lion Knight castle and some of the other gifts of purchases that we got and then I'm also really proud of this Guardians of the Galaxy display. We've got tons of sets and I think they look really great. I love having it next to the Eternals Lego set and then it kind of blends in really uh, nicely into the UCS style sets that I have over here with the Lego Marvel uh, sets and then I'm also really happy with my Batcave display. I like having it kind of extended out like this with the 1989 Batmobile in front. I I also really like this Iron Man shelf too. I thought that was a lot of fun to put together. And then below it, we've got the Spider-Man shelf, which also looks really nice too. And then below this, we've got my Infinity War slash Endgame display, which I was able to fit a lot into a small confined space, but it doesn't look too chaotic. And I think everything looks great on the display. And then I recently redid some of the DC displays. I really like this one. This one has stayed the same. I love the dynamic to a fun house and the asylum. And then the Batcave paired with the Batwing and the Batmobile also looks good. And then I really like this Dark Knight trilogy shelf too. Another one I'm really proud of, I recently redid this one as well too, and I like the kind of Jim Lee Batman art pairing up with the Batcave, and then right below it there being the Batwing, so I feel like the only area over here that I'm not happy with is just not being able to hold the skyline, but apart from that, I think it's a really well thought out display, and I really like how it pairs up with the other LEGO DC sets that I have over here. So definitely let me know, like when you've been like watching all my LEGO collection videos, what's like the least favorite part that you all have noticed that kind of just feels like it's like thrown together where there's random sets everywhere. And what's your favorite part of my LEGO collection? Definitely let me know down in the comments below because I feel like all of us have like different opinions on all of the displays and it's really fun to discuss those. So let me know what you thought of this video and be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new around here, but that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.